Hello guys, uh, this is Mr. Viz. This video, I thought of testing uh, the free assets that we have got for uh, this month, which are, yep. So I'm not, I'm not going to go into all the assets, but uh, I'm, I'm more interested in the uh, research facility bundle and the advanced AI span system. So this bundle has four different maps. Let me quickly open them. So I've, I've added them to my uh, TPS project already. And the maps are here. Okay, let me open them one by one. So all these maps were uh, uh, pretty good uh, in terms of the quality and for the fact that it's free. Okay. Okay. So I've already set the game mode to my ALS game mode, so let's take a walk here. So the map, it has pretty cool features like the layers. Of course, few assets had I was facing issues with the collision, but most places were good straight out of the box. And even it had some working doors. Let, let me see. So if you guys were following my tutorials, your E key, intact key might not work here because E is connected to open door. So the door is opening. Okay, I, I added my zombies also here for testing purpose. So the, the, that is opening doors also here. Okay. So this is one of the map. Uh, I like the fourth map actually. It, it's it's an open. Uh, it's an it's an outdoor map. So this looked pretty good to me. So you can make a pretty much a good, good, decent game with this levels. Okay, let's try adding our uh, zombies here uh, with the AI spawner that's free for this month. So this advanced AI spawn system, uh, we will use it on uh, the zombie AIs which we have created in this series. Okay. So uh, let us try to spawn some uh, zombies in this map. So to do that, I've, I've already included uh, the AI spawn system to this project. So open blueprints and uh, put this actor on the level. And we have to uh, make or set a couple of parameters here. So on the details, come here and you can see spawn area. So click on plus. So wherever you want to spawn your zombies, you have to enter those settings here. Expand this and enable this thing so that you, you'll have an idea of where your zombies will get spawned within this particular area. And then here on the AI spawn setting, we have to select which AI we have we, we want to spawn. So click on that and select your zombie character base here. And as you know, this zombie character base, uh, well, let me show that actually. Okay, the zombie base, uh, we created in a way that, uh, it, it picks random characters. Where is it? 
okay in construction script we have uh, created uh, given the skeletal mesh uh, uh, to pick random skeletal mesh in the list which you have uh, given so in my project I have, I have six AI characters, six AI zombie characters so it will randomly pick any one of this and spawn so and again expand this the number is 10 and click on refresh and uh, we have to select uh, the mesh or the area where we want to spawn so for that uh, click on Okay, places to spawn click on plus and uh, take the speaker and add this but still it, it, it throws an error uh, that means we have a landscape in the bag uh, below this uh, mesh so we want to include that also so if you can see here let me just uh, try to hide this you can see a landscape here so we want to include that also so it here for better and add one more and uh, select the landscape okay now we can see the 10 boxes here so within that uh, only our uh, uh, zombies will uh, spawn now we, we, you can add like more uh, areas uh, I've selected this and uh, I move this uh, I have to expand this also. So if you can see, once I have expanded, it, it gets scattered better. Okay. Now let's play from here I'll put the play start I'll, I'll, I'll add some guns also for fun so I'll add a grenade launcher and a rifle okay so the zombie started appearing okay okay once they notice they'll start chasing us our other uh, blueprints will trigger and uh, as you know we have created this zombies without a nav mesh so it it, it 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 would follow us throughout the map okay so yep so the a spawner also works and the maps are pretty cool you, you should try all these four uh, if, if you are creating a simple game with some uh, simple find and shoot logic so you have four maps to try it out with so that's it i wanted to show in this video thanks to all my patrons who were supporting me in this journey thanks a lot thanks for your support thanks for watching guys see you in the next video bye